bienvenidos. What's good? Hi guys, welcome. As you guys can see for the title, today I am doing my last update of my pan, that face palette. I've decided that next month I would just end this a little bit early in the month um, because all my projects are ending early in December and I just want to enjoy the month. I've been doing now the taking December off as a break for about two, three years. I think it's the best thing and I'm so happy to see some of my fellow content creator panners doing the same thing. It really does reset your brain, makes you want to start panning again in January and you get to play with all the fun stuff you get for Black Friday and for Christmas. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. So I have a lot of things for you guys to share. I am filming this video on Veterans Day. So happy belated Veteran Days for all anyone who has uh, served our country thank you so much for all of your service as you guys can see this is why i have my shirt on and my red white and blue kind of thing makeup going on there are certain things we are doing today so that's why i'm dressed the way that i am dressed and my new haircut you guys finally get to see my new haircut it looks fuller doesn't it it looks fuller i'm trying not to do that brady bunch thing <laughs> And my bangs, I'm still getting used to. The bangs are mainly for when my hair goes up. So I'm trying to camouflage them when it's down. So I'm still in that learning phase of the new haircut and figuring out how I like to style it. Um, I've done it straight, I've done it wavy. So we're, we're playing with it, we're playing with it and seeing how we like it. It is definitely different, um, but I do like it. it. It definitely gives me more volume and my hair doesn't look so like in... Uh, in videos especially. So, all right, you guys, you're here for the update, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's start out with our lovely Natasha Denona Love Glow uh, Cheek Palette. This has been in here now for about two months. I think September is when I brought this in. So we have October, yeah, about two months I've been using this, two, two and a half months. And I've been trying to hit pan on the shade Super Glow. So last update, I had about 30 some uses in this shade um, overall, and I had a nice dip in it. It was starting to feel a little bit softer, a little bit more crumblier as I got deeper into the pan. And as you guys can see, dun, 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 I have hit pan. I hit pan on total of 52 uses on that one right there. So actually, I'm very proud of myself because I believe that has been the least amount of uses I've had in any of these Natasha Denona face palettes. Typically, it takes me 60 plus. That's actually getting close. I had about eight more uses to make it to the 60. So I'm very happy with it. Really have been enjoying it. Um, it's something fun. I, I really did like it and I'm happy that those have, um, what do you call it, pan on it. And this palette looks more loved than it did when I first started it out this year. It was beautiful. I expected to hit pan around this time and I was hoping to transition into other things towards the end of the year. And um, yeah, I've been learning my panning patterns. Go me. Okay, so typically I have a second face palette in here, but you guys know that I have not, I didn't roll one in knowing that it's towards the end of the year and I needed to get more use out of my single. So I rolled in, three different singles in here. So let's start out with the first one. This is the bronzer. This is the uh, bronzer from Buxom in Tahiti. This is long gone, been discontinued, and I am using this every day. I have it on today. It's still looking nice. It is starting, starting. As you guys can see, I'm starting to lose my tan. It is starting to look a little bit dark for me. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last with this one, you guys, but I have yet to hit pan on it, and that's my goal. This is a gelée formula, and this is very densely packed. I think that I am gonna have to end up switching this out for a lighter bronzer because I am looking uh, quite tan these days, and I'm losing my tan. <laughs> so um, I think that I'm gonna end up rolling this out this month and just finished the rest of the year with a lighter bronzer because I think this is just too dark for me at this point. I noticed it today. Um, I wore it today just for the sake of this video, but I am realizing it is a little bit too dark for me. So I am going to end up rolling this out. Don't fret. This is going to come back next year. I still am trying to 
at least hit pan if not finish the whole thing next year. And I think I could do it. It's just, this is a tough formula. For it being so old and um, used, I still have not hit pan. I have a nice dip. Like you could see I have a nice dip going on, but it's still, and it still smells like coconut, you guys, like that macaroon cookie coconut. Oh, I love that smell. I don't like the taste of it, but I love that smell. So I am gonna end up rolling this out. It's just too dark for me at this point. All right, let's move on to the highlighter I rolled in. This is the Stila Kitten Highlighter. I am not showing you obviously the window of it. Last update, I had quite a bit uses of it. I did not use this this much. I'm not even gonna exaggerate, joke around with you guys. This highlighter got used 25 times. Now bear in mind, this is supposed to be an eyeshadow. So you're not getting the amount that you're supposed to for a highlighter version. Ah, this is an eyeshadow. It's very, it was my, it is my oldest highlighter that I've had so far. I had to change my brush because it was too rough for the product. It, this is way too soft, way too crumbly, way too powdery for the highlighter brush that I was using. So I ended up switching to something with very, very soft bristles, very loose to not pick up too much product. And I'll show you a picture. Hopefully I have a picture of where I was and you guys, I finished it. I was completely able to finish it. I am not even exaggerating when I tell you the day I hit pan, I went around, I put on my face and I literally looked down and I was like, what? I had to look at it up close because I really thought I was just like seeing stuff because I didn't expect to hit pan as fast as I did and let alone completely finish it off. This was very, very crumbly, very loose due to the fact of its age. So it didn't last long. And bear in mind, this product already is a very soft product, even brand new. So I didn't expect to have this that long, but I'm very happy to say that I finished a highlighter, a single highlighter. Not only did I finish a highlighter in a face palette, I finished a single one. Now this is tiny, so I'm not like throwing you know, a bunch of confetti and stuff. It is still an accomplishment, but I have other highlighters that take a lot longer than this. This was an easy give me one for the end of the year. Wanted to use this up knowing it is my oldest and it was an easy one to build my stamina for the end of the year empty. So this is gonna get rolled out as well because I actually finished that off. Now, last but not least, I'm still working on my MAC So Natural Glow Play Blush. This is in So Natural. I have a photo of it from last month and I'm wearing it today. I'm very excited, I'm wearing it today. I still love it, I still enjoy it. You guys know the whole drill. And you guys, I'm so happy to show you guys this. Look at this. Can you see that the plastic is starting to peek up on these edges right there? I am just so thrilled with that. I cannot believe how much I've used this. So I am having hope that I think I could get to the end or almost the end by December 31st. <sighs> I'm still going, I'm still going, I'm still loving it. I had to switch to a smaller stipple brush to be able to pick up product. I can't use a bigger foundation brush what I, was, what I have been using to put it on my cheeks. I've had to use a small stipple brush, which is fine, it's not a big deal, but I'm still loving it and I am seeing the end. For a while there, I thought I wasn't picking up any product. I'm like, oh, it's just residue from the brush that I'm putting on my face because I don't see this moving. And then all of a sudden I started to see it move and I'm like, yes, I am getting there. I'm thinning out the product, I'm getting there. I have another one of this because I love it that much, you guys. And I've added more shades into my wardrobe because I just love this formula so, so much, so, so much. As the seasons have been changing and my skin has been adjusting to it being no humidity, cold and windy. This is still doing so good on my skin. It looks so fresh, it looks so natural, it doesn't look like a, I'm just so happy. I'm a little bit nervous next year using powder products again because I'm starting to just love cream blush over my powders. It just looks so, so pretty. So anyway, it's still in here. I'm still working on it. I'm hoping by the finale next month, you guys will see something and I will continue to use it even after this project is done um, solely because I wanna see if I can get it done by the 31st of December. So out of our four products that I share with you guys, three are gonna get rolled out. One, I hit my goal. Two, I hit my finish goal. And three, this is getting too dark for me right now, which I knew was going to end up happening. So. I had told you guys I already had chosen a different face palette after I hit pan on the Love Cheek one. But because we are only having one more, if that, one more month left 
of this project, it's not fair to bring something new in and struggle with it while I'm really not wanting to be all for it at the moment. So what I decided to do is I'm not gonna replace anything for the face palette of this year. I'm going to save that for the uh, intro video in January, but I am gonna still roll in things to replace the bronzer and the highlighter that I am rolling out. So I'm still gonna use this. And I hope you guys don't mind the last month of me not actually doing this. I'm, I'm not having a face palette. Even though it's called Pan That Face Palette, the last month or so, I'm not gonna have an actual face palette, but I'm still gonna have face products in here that make up a face palette. I hope that's okay. I just don't really, a month left, like I really don't wanna stress myself with it. So I'm gonna still keep this blush. I'm still going to work on it. You guys know my goal is to finish that by the end of the year. So I'm still going to be going for it. For the bronzer, I am going to roll this in. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. Now I'm not expecting much to be done with this one, but I feel like this is a neutral uh, bronzer that'll work for me right now. And it is baked. So it is a beautiful formula. They don't make this anymore. You most likely can't see that. Um, because it is so light, but building it on my cheeks, I might be able to do some damage with it. Do you guys know I go through bronzer like crazy? So for me, that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna roll this in and we're just gonna keep using that till the end of the year. I already chosen the majority of my products that I wanna pan next year and this bronzer is not in there. So this is why I chose this one because I didn't wanna cheat and pick the bronzers that I want to actually use up and finish next year. I don't wanna have a head start. So I'm just gonna go with this one. Then as far as the uh, highlighter, I'm gonna roll this in. This is something I do wanna finish next year, but we all know Miss Mary. She's one that loves to linger. So this is the Bomb Mary Luminizer. Now this is my oldest highlighter in my collection. As you guys see, I have a decent pan in here. That's a, that's a decent pan. That's what I call a decent pan for this highlighter because this highlighter is no joke. When I finished the Stila one, which wasn't that far away, it was like a few days ago, I started using this one and that's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I want to finish this up next year, but I highly doubt I'll do any damage in this month or so that we have left because it is just that potent, that pigmented, and that firmly pressed in here. So we're just gonna roll this in because we do need a head start with this one because she's gonna take me all year next year to finish. I am almost positive that's gonna end up happening and that's okay, but I do wanna get her out of my collection because I do, she is my oldest now. So I do wanna get a head start. So these are the three things that I'm gonna be working on the last three, three and a half weeks or so of this project. We're gonna see how much usage I can get out of these three products and then we'll um, restart this fresh next year so then I can um, go ahead and do that. Now, I do also wanna mention, these are honorable mentions that I'm also gonna be using. Due to the fact that I did um, hit pan on this. I'm still using cream products as underpainting. I still do underpainting. I still love it. It's still something that I continue to do. So I've replaced two blushes, cream blushes, um, in place of this one that I've been using. And I just, I'm alternating both of these shades just to try to get more use out of them. So I am going to put these in this project as well. Um, so I'm going to end up working on five different individual things, face products in this project instead of a new face palette. So the first one is this one. This is the Tinkerbell um, Super Shock Cheek in Darling. This is the one I'm wearing today under my cheeks. So this is where we're at with it. I'm not expecting to do much with it. It is going to be alternated with a different shade. So every other day this gets used. Um, we'll see what we can do with it. I'll take a picture of it so then we can see where we end up with it in the, in the next three weeks. The other one that I'm alternating it with is this one. This is the Beach Please um, Tower 28 blush. This is this was gifted to me by my friend Lisa and I wanna get use out of it and I think this is a perfect time for it. So these are the two shades that I'm alternating every day. So this is the one I wore today. This is the one that I wore yesterday. This is the one that I wore tomorrow, then the following day. Every other day, I'm just picking one of these two just to get more usage out of these two. One, the Tinkerbell collection, I have another a blush, are my oldest at this point of as far as cream. Blushes besides this one, this is my oldest, and then, then comes these, so I wanna get more use out of them. And I am fully aware that these Tower 28 ones go bad quick, so I wanna get more use out of it before it goes bad. So I will give you a quick swatch of both of these so you are aware of how and what I'm working. I'm not digging in these. I'm not, 
I'm just using them, that's all. I'm just using them and enjoying them. So this is the Tinkerbell and then this one is the Beach Please one. So they're two different ones, but I feel like they go nice with anything that I've been wearing. They're both still creamy, they both smell good, they both still work fine. So we're going to use these till the end of the year until I start this project again and then pick a new face palette that will have cream products in them. So these five products right here, five products I will be working on for the next three, three and a half weeks in this project pan, hoping to get some more usage out of my products, still sticking in with my habits and not slacking on my habits, even though I am taking a break for a month, I still don't slack on my habits. I just rotate my items more to learn a little bit more about my products. So then I know what I want to pan, what's going bad, what I need to work on quicker. So that's how I'm doing this, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are okay with the way that I'm just doing this last few months. Next one will be the finale and I'll let you guys know all the stats, how many pans we hit, what we finished, what we did, how many, you know, palettes we rotated, so on and so forth. So I'm hoping you guys are excited just as much as I am. Thank you guys so much for watching more videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, 